My name is Peter Palancio. I'm a port worker from Darwin. My name is Wesley Wally and I'm a wharfie in Perth. My name is Roger Pickett and I'm a wharfie from Perth. My name is Patrick Nellyman and I'm a wharfie from Townsville. My name is James Krugel and I'm a wharfie from Brisbane. I believe the most important issues facing Indigenous MUA members is getting feedback from meetings, workshops and conferences. It's the employment of youth actually getting started within the workforce and then having the confidence to grow and move throughout the industry. There's uh, proper training and uh, employment out there, nationally accredited and everything. I feel nowadays with the, the aids of modern technology, it's taking people out of the whole basic dealings with, with management and a hand-to-hand -hand and an almost uh, human touch. Nowadays you're, you're working with computers, you're signing off on maybe agreements and that sort of thing uh, using computers when it was handshakes and, and pen written deals over the table where you know, you'd sit with the boss. With the culture of the union we need to be getting down back to basics not only using the tools that we do have available, but also putting those tools aside and using them in conjunction with the human touch, I, I believe is most important. One of the best things I come to see through being with the MUA is the camaraderie that, that I've developed with all these different people from different states, different walks of life, that I probably wouldn't have done that if I hadn't come here. Maintaining our wages and conditions and making it a success down where we are being part of the MUA is being part of the process of negotiation. Being a workplace delegate is, for myself, a good opportunity to be a leader. It's important to me because that way we get to voice fellow comrades' opinions and concerns and not just voicing them but having those opinions heard. Just being, being there for the fellows who, who, need, who need a hand and not having anyone take advantage of them, just to help them to get by and, and uh, have, have something done right for them, it's pretty good. I'm a big believer that uh, wages and conditions are, are important but uh, first and foremost that safety is the number one issue. The employer will always put wages in front of safety and we should be putting the money down in some, you know, some instances and really pushing for safety. Being the Indigenous representative to me is so we can get the information to the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander membership and the wider membership as well. As a delegate, I want to achieve maintaining uh, our wages and conditions and keeping it as success as the way we have it now. I want to achieve and see a bit more of equal opportunities throughout the workplace in both offshore and on the wharfs. It's good to be in that leadership role to help towards uh, safety for the blokes, you know, so they, the, the, their families and that get to see him go home or her go home at the end of the day or whatever the time the ship finishes. But, to be, to be part of that is, is a great feeling, you know, the safer the place, the, the better for all. I had the, um, the great pleasure of meeting Gordon Horn and uh, listening to some of his stories. I'm thankful every day that I go to work that guys like Gordon Horn and those guys of that era put, you know, uniforms on our back, the smoko rooms that we go in, the lunch breaks that we have. Those guys worked in with asbestos and those sorts of things, so they really paved the way. So I, I like to uh, lead off where Gordon left off. Uh, carry the torch and uh, hopefully uh, somebody will carry it on from me. I want to achieve a good outcome for both Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander membership. I've been exposed to all the, all the nitty gritty that the, uh, the government and, and uh, headhunters are trying to do to the communities to, uh, to affect their lifestyle, taking it towards what a part I was I suppose. So we've been a part exposed to the, uh, the intervention and the muckety where they they're, they've gone out of the way and, and just created lies in order to dump waste in communities that's affecting everyone and, and not, I don't think, giving them the real picture on what's going on. And all those things out in those communities in Northern Territory and uh, North Queensland, it's, uh, yeah, just, just being in that area around all those people and, and letting them know what laws are out there for them to look after them and uh, exposing them to what's right and just.
Never